Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to add an IAM authorizer to an HTTP API in AWS. Let's start by going to the AWS console and search for Lambda. Click on create function and give your function a name. I'm going to select Python for runtime and create a new role with basic permissions for the default execution role. Next, in the code source section, click on the test button and give your test event a name. Hit save and click on test again to test your Lambda function. Seems like our function is working as expected. Now go back to the AWS console and this time search for API Gateway. Click on build in the HTTP API section, then hit the add integration button. Choose Lambda from the dropdown and select the Lambda function that we just created. Give your API a name, then hit next. I'm going to select the get method and leave everything else to default. Hit next, then click on create. Copy the invoke URL and paste it in the Postman UI. Add the route at the end of the URL, then hit send. Looks like our API endpoint is invoking our Lambda function as expected. Next, click on the authorization link in the left menu, then select get. From the dropdown, select IAM, then click on the attach authorizer button. Go back to the Postman UI and hit send again. This time we see the forbidden message. Here's how we fix this. Go back to the AWS console and search for IAM. Click on users in the left menu, then hit add users. Give your user a name, then select programmatic access. Next, click on attach existing policies directly and search for API gateway. Choose API gateway invoke full access, then hit next. Click on create user, and now you will have access to the ID and the access key. In the Postman UI, click on the authorization tab and from the dropdown, select AWS signature. Copy paste the access ID and secret key and enter an appropriate AWS region. In the service name text box, type in execute API. Now, if you hit send again, you should be able to access your Lambda function from this API endpoint as expected. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.